Hey everybody, so I'm here today to film a um, flip through of this Traveler's Notebook insert. This is my insert for, it was supposed to be for April, but um, I got about halfway through the month of April till Easter pretty much. After that it got pretty thick and there's only one full page and then like the back side of a page. So other than that the book is full so it's the beginning of April I'll say and I used the um, Simple Stories Spring Farmhouse collection I had a lot of um, I shouldn't say a lot of but I had some of that collection a lot of the paper and some of the stickers and stuff left over from another project I had done with that collection in a mini album so this is um, what I decided to do with it. So on the inside I just have this little bike sticker and then there's this door that says welcome and I well I stamped welcome on that door card and I thought that was perfect. Just made like a flap here and then I did the title of April 2020 which when I initially made this my plan was to have all of April in here but that doesn't actually happen but that's okay. So the first page is just a photo of my son and I have this little sticker that says let's stay home and this one that says home which was kind of perfect since we're all stuck at home right now. Um, then there's a lot of like outdoor things that we did in the yard and stuff. He had his first like official egg hunt like outside. Um, we had a little one for him last year in the house, but he was only a baby, so he didn't really understand the concept. I think he was, let me think, Easter's April. April. So he would have been like nine months old. Sorry, I'm not good with math. I have to think sometimes. But yeah, he would have been like nine months and he wasn't quite walking yet, so the egg hunt thing, he didn't really get it. But this year he was super good he's almost two so you know he understood and he went and found the eggs and it was pretty cool and this was actually before easter but uh yeah it was like the weekend before we just decided to do something fun then this was one day me and uh, my husband were out doing the flower beds and of course our kiddo was out with us and we found a worm so <laughs> My husband's like, let's see what he does with it. So we put it on his hand and let it on the ground there. And he's looking at it and playing with it. Then he decided he wanted to throw the worm. So then that was kind of the end of the worm. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, we didn't want him to be mean. <laughs> um, so then on another day we were out again and... He was pushing his bubble mower. It was a little bit of a warmer day that day. But uh yeah, we've had some we had some really nice weather there for a while and then all of a sudden it got cold again. Like this week it's been pretty cold. So for this page I did this little flip up with a journaling card and I have my journaling up there and some circle elements for this page. Um, this one was about a little um, drive, I guess. We were on the way back from a store and there's a fish um, trout. They call it the hatchery. I don't know if any of you are familiar with any of that, but um, if you fish or know about fishing, it's kind of where they raise the fish before they set them into the streams. And it's near our house, like, really close, and, like, my husband's family, like, they used to take him up there when he was little, so we took our son up and let him look at all the big fish in the little, uh, hatchery thing there. I don't really know what they call it, but, uh, yeah, he was excited. He had, he loved it, and there's no one there, so it was nice and distant. He just ran around <laughs> the grass most of the time, but, yep, he liked the fish. It was fun. Um, then this page was a page about when he actually, um, went fishing with us. Obviously he wasn't fishing, but he was having fun throwing rocks into the river or the lake 
not a lake, not a river. Uh, the stream, there's the one I'm looking for. I can't talk today, apparently. But, uh, yep, so I just did that. And then the first, um, slushy of spring, I call it, our local pizza shop, um, does slushies whenever the weather gets warmer. They open up their little slushy machine, so... I saw they had it open and I love slushies so I had to get one. And then we start Easter. Easter took up a lot of this album, like probably half of it actually, but we just had such a fun day. So this picture was about Easter morning. We gave him his raccoon that we had got him online um, a few months back from Build-A-Bear and he has a little Easter um, shirt on, it's really cute. and. Um, yeah, raccoons kind of our thing with him, so we got him a little raccoon. And so I did that page there, and then this was a family picture that we took, that we had took, um, outside on Easter day, and I like it, I think it turned out really nice, it's one of my favorite pictures of the three of us. So I just did this little double spread so I could do a little journaling with this nice big photo. Which this side turned out really simple, but I kind of like it. Um, then here is where I was starting to get kind of bored with this album. I think um, just using leftovers from a collection and not having a lot to work with and trying to... Which, as I look back through it, kind of does look like I had a lot, but it was really hard to make some of the stickers work with what I was doing. So I was just like, eh, I'm just going to stick them on colors, you know, if the colors look right. I just kind of did it. But anyway, so here was his um, first official Easter egg hunt. And there was like a couple things in this album that weren't from the collection that I just added in just to help it go a little farther. Like these little eggs were a stamp and I just colored them in. Um, there's some little labels and just little tags and different things like that. Then this was another one of our little family pictures we did um, that day. I used some of the Nubia dots. And then this one was about art and fishing in the pond. It's not like a real fishing pole or anything. It's just a um, tree branch or a stick with like a piece of string and a little uh, hook at the end. And we just caught him a little sunfish out of the pond so he could see, you know, it was kind of like he was sort of fishing, but he liked to look at the fish after you pulled, after the fish bit and you pulled it up, he liked to look at it and point at it, and he thought that was kind of cool. So that was his first, like, him fishing experience, I guess you could call it. And then this one was just a picture of him coloring. He got his first coloring book on Easter. Now, he has colored before, like, in restaurants and stuff when we were on vacation last year, and... Once in a while, we'll give him a piece of paper and a crayon or whatever, but this was like his first, like, he got a coloring book and a set of crayons for Christmas, or <laughs> for Christmas, for Easter, so we he was coloring. He was pretty excited about it. He was using his right hand there, but he kind of has been going back and forth, so I'm not sure if he's going to be right-handed or left-handed, but, um, and that is it. So that's the end of that little book. My next plan is actually to make a insert, um, instead of doing like the book binding type thing like this, I'm going to put them on rings. I think that'll help the bulkiness because like see how this puffs up and gets kind of difficult. So that's the plan. We'll see how that turns out. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!